Juniors, welcome back to another Sunday at Kids Church at Home. We are so excited that you are joining with us because we have lots of fun things planned. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in straight away with our memory verse that we learned last week. So you should try and remember it um, for right now. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, juniors, we're gonna do this week's memory verse. I'm so excited for this verse today. It is a brand new one from the Psalms. It is from chapter 46, verse one. And it goes like this. God is our refuge and strength. That's it, okay? I'm gonna do that one more time and then we'll all try to join in together. Okay, three, two, one. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 46, verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. Perfect. Okay, we're now going to all try that all together. The words will be up on the screen. Try to follow along with the actions and we'll try to do this all together. So let's go. Three, two, one. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 46, verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. Perfect. Okay, let's try to speed it up a tiny bit and we'll all try to do it together. Remember the words are still up on the screen and you can just follow along with the actions. But let's go. Three, two, one. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. Okay, let's do that again one more time and then we'll add in some challenges. So here we go. Three, two, one. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 46, verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. Unbelievable. Okay, now we're going to stand on one foot and we're going to try to keep our balance. Whoa. Okay, and we'll go in three, two, one. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 46, verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. Unbelievable. Okay, we're going so well, but this time we're going to jump up and down like this. I'm going to try to do it. Hopefully we can, but let's go. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 46, verse one, God is our refuge and strength. We nailed it. Juniors, great job with the memory verse. Try to keep on practicing this throughout the week. But for now, we're going to dive in deeper and try to look at this week's story. Well done. That was brilliant. You remembered the words and the actions. I am so impressed. We are going to go and do today's story right now. And it's one that Jesus told about a man who had two sons. And he asked these two sons to do a job for him. But I want you to watch out carefully to see what happened. Did the sons do what their father asked? Why not watch right now and see if you can answer that. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the two sons. This is Jesus. Heyo! Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! Jesus was in the temple in Jerusalem teaching when the Pharisees and religious leaders came up to him. <laughs> they challenged his authority and Jesus said, what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, Hey, son. Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. Eh. The son answered, No, I won't go. But later he changed his mind and went anyway. Then the father told the other son, Hey, son. You go. And he said, Yes, sir, I will. But he didn't go. Then Jesus asked, which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, the first. Then Jesus explained his meaning in telling this story. 
Jesus told them that people who sinned would get into the kingdom of God before they did. This is because the Pharisees and religious leaders didn't believe the people who God sent to tell his message. Jesus continued to talk to the Pharisees and religious leaders. They realized he was telling the story against them and they wanted to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowds because the crowds listened to Jesus and believed that the message he was speaking was from God. So in today's story, you've seen how the father asked his two sons to go and to work in the vineyard. The first son said he wasn't going to do it, but then he actually did go and work in the vineyard. The second son said, oh yeah, 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 I will go and do it to his dad, but then ended up that he didn't even bother. And from this, Jesus was telling us and telling those who were listening to him that it's really, really important that your actions, that the things that you do match your words, the things that you say. And for us as followers of Jesus, we want to make sure that we don't just say that we love Jesus and that we follow him, but we actually want to do that with our whole lives in how we act and in what we say and do. So this week, okay, why not try to match your actions with your words? So whenever you say you're going to do something, you do it. And this might help your parents out as well. We're going to go into worship right now to thank God that he is our father who loves us. So let's get ready to worship.
break, break You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes and things break, break You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes and things break, break You are my rock, my everything No matter what I'm gonna face Gonna face tomorrow
We've had such a great morning with all of you juniors. Thank you for joining in with us. We are just going to pray to finish off. So why don't you join in now? Dear God, thank you for your love and that we get to be part of your family. Help me to do what you asked me to do this week. Amen.